And when Wolves came, I was like really interested because um, I really love like the Premier League because it's always my, been my dream to play in the Premier League. So it wasn't a really difficult choice for me. The Dutch national team is always is is one of my dreams as well to play there. To make my minutes one day in the Wolves stadium and be a player for the for Wolves himself and show the fans what I can do. Nigel Langweik, thanks very much for joining me here on Football Aranya. Um, how are you? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, all right. Yeah, um, great to be talking with you because, you know, they're, they're, I, I don't think many people have had an opportunity to speak with you yet about your career and what, what you're thinking, you know, what your plans are like. An 18-year-old defender, you're in the Wolves Academy at the moment and, and many Wolves and Dutch football fans, that they want to know a bit more about you. So could you take us right back to the beginning of your career? Um, as short as it is, and what is your earliest footballing memory? Um, beginning of my career was the the club nearby where I lived when I was young, and uh, what I can remember is that I started playing when I was like five or six years old with like a lot of older kids, and I really liked the game. And then I think I played there for one or two years, and I made the step to PSV. And I've played there for almost my, the whole, like my whole life, like for 10 years till I was 16, almost 17. And then um, I made the step to Wolverhampton. And yeah, I've played there now for two years. And start of this season, I went on loan to, uh, back to Holland for Tino Sittard. So I guess many people would like to know, Wolves fans as well as Dutch football fans, is well, why did you make that step? Um, to PSV's from PSV, sorry, to the Wolves Academy at only sixteen. Um, you know, I played. I played there for ten years, and mm. I'm a person that likes new challenges, like new stuff to do. And when Wolves came, I was like really interested because um, I really love like the Premier League because always my been my dream to play in the Premier League. So it wasn't a really difficult choice for me. So yeah. Did you ever look at any of the other players that had gone from the Netherlands to England in the past and did it ever make you feel apprehensive or were you like all guns blazing? Wolves have set me a really good impression. I really want to go. Um, yeah, I've looked at other players, but um, Wolves came with a good plan. I was really happy with the club, what they said, with like all the things they said. This, so there was nothing that would stop me to go, from going there. And then, how was it moving to England at only like six? Was he sixteen at the time? Um, I think I was just I just turned seventeen when I made the step there. Wow. Like when I, so everything was going on when I was sixteen, and when I turned seventeen, I was in England. I think I'm not hundred percent sure anymore. But yeah, it was a big step for me and for my family, of course, because I'm still young and I had to leave me like going to a different country in uh, on my own. But uh, Wolves sorted everyone out very good, felt re really good, team was all nice, everyone was nice. And I lived with, um, for a short time with a host family, so mm. nice people as well. So it was a good start of my, yeah, for Wolves. Do experiences like that that you just spoke about there, do they kind of mature you and, and, and make you a proper grown-up? Because you've gone from... Uh, being being in the youth academy is something you're quite comfortable with, and like you said, that challenge and being outside the box did did it change you quite quickly? Yeah, yeah it did because like at the end you're you're there on your own. Normally you're with your family, they do everything for you, but there it was just like just me that I had to do things, work on myself, do everything for myself. So yeah, it's been maturing myself a lot. So tell me then, how has it gone so far with, with Wolves? The time you spent there, like what have you learned? Like, who have you met? What what kind of things stick into your mind already, like, uh, from your time so far at Wolves? Uh, so far at Wolves, I think they've made me, like, become more a man. Like, as you know, English football is physical. And, mm. yeah, I've been growing physical a lot. Um, yeah, I've, and I made the step real kick to the 23s. I've been training with the first team a lot. Um, I even sat on the bench a couple of times with the first team. So, like, mm. I've... It's been very good, very happy with it. 
Sure thing, yeah. And and um, I'm originally from the West Midlands, um, from Birmingham, yeah. and <laughs> I wouldn't say it was like the nicest place to live over in the West Midlands. Like, how, how have you found it going from from the Netherlands to to like Wolverhampton? Yeah, it's it's a lot different than here. Like Wolverhampton itself is a nice city, but it's not what I'm used to. And um, <laughs> To be fair, I like Birmingham. Like Birmingham is a nice like shopping area. I like it there. But yeah, it's a lot different than in Holland. <laughs> What's the biggest difference for you then? Um the first time I came in England, the biggest difference was that um people just park on the roads. Like everywhere you drive you see <laughs> cars parking on the roads. So that was the I think that that's what I remember as the biggest difference for me. And like I think your Dutch accent is almost completely gone. <laughs> yeah. Do <yeah. laughs> you think that's just being around so many English people like all the time? Yeah, that's just automatic now. <laughs> no, it's coming on really well. Um, yeah, mm-hmm. like be, be, being in, in the Wolves Academy, you've you've got to know a lot of the, the young guys there. Who would you say the the best players from the academy? And I, I know that there's no guarantees in football, but are there any players you think? If you'd be very surprised if they didn't play in the Premier League, I think we last year we've had a really really strong team. Um, like a lot of players have been going on loan now as well because it's good to make minutes in first team football. But um, I think in football you never know really who's going to make and who's not. So I don't really know about that to be fair. <laughs> but you've got um, it's Justin Hubner. He's a teammate yeah. of yours from the Netherlands. Do you, do you speak often with him? Yeah, yeah, I do, I do. It's always nice to have someone that speaks the same language as you. So nah, we talk with each other. If you if you got questions, you ask me. So we just help each other there. Mm-hmm. And you've also got uh, Kiana Herbert. Kiana. Yeah, Kiana. Kiana. Yeah, he's in the same age group as me in Holland. And since we've been like nine, ten, we've been playing games against each other with PSV wow. and Ajax. So when he came, I knew him already, and I speak speak a lot with him when I train for the first team. So yeah, it's nice as well. Fair. Um, thinking big, then is it your end goal to play with Wolves in the Premier League? Is that ultimately what you want? Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, Wolves is a big team in England. Um, at the end of the day, I want to play in the Premier League, and yeah, hopefully, is that with Wolves? That's that's my goal now. So that's what I want to achieve. And speaking with with the coaches, with the managers, do they they do they hold like high aspirations of you? I mean, like this is a moment where I guess you can you can you can speak a bit more about yourself. Do they speak with you and and, and say that that you have this kind of future? Do they lay it out to you and say this is the plan for you? No, they communicate a lot, um, and yeah, they let me know that I got that they got um, confidence in me, and I just need to keep keep working, keep doing what I do, and then. I'll have to grab my chance and show the people I'm ready for first in football in the Premier League. You said that you were on the bench already a couple of times in the Premier League. Uh, what yeah. was that like? How did you feel going towards that? Um, and were you nervous? And did any like Wolves first team players did they come and meet you and like settle you in? Um, yeah, it was a nice moment, of course, because like it's the first time sitting, uh, first time sitting on the bench with a Premier League team. Um, there were no fans in the stadium then, so that was a bit. Um, but still exciting seeing the players play is always nice. And um, yeah, all the first team players take me in very well. They all being nice, help me when I got questions. They will always help me. So it's a it's a nice group there. Does anybody come and meet you in the dressing room, or does anyone um, stand out for you when you when you were like in, I, you see them in training, but when you went to that match day? What was it like meeting the players then? Um, not much difference than like in training. See players like Connor Cody, they always help the youngest, like they're just yeah, just being good players, older as they know what to do and uh, they all they've been all doing that always. So. You seem like someone that maybe doesn't get nervous. You seem like a really calm guy. Yeah, to be fair, I'm not really stressing about anything. I just see what comes and that like, what happens happens that's just a bit how i am fair enough and if that gets you there then 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 so be it and being yeah. level-headed is probably what you need sometimes in football um mm-hmm. thinking even bigger than the wolves here what uh, what do you think of the dutch national team is it something that's in your mind is it something that would mean a lot to you to go and represent them one day 
Yeah, yeah, of course. This uh, Dutch national team is always is is one of my dreams as well to play there, to play on the on the big stadiums, playing like with my with my country. It's always uh, yeah a dream for me. And do you have any any inspiration, any idols to help get you there? Um, what do you mean with that? Well, I guess, I mean, is anyone that's playing right now, well, when I've spoken to one player recently, he chose Matthijs de Ligt as an example because of how young he was when he was breaking through and making strides towards oh, yeah. the Dutch national team. Um, for me, I think it's uh, Virgil van Dijk. If you see what way he had to go, it wasn't always easy. So he went to different clubs and had to prove himself every time. And now he's there. Mm. He's one of the yeah, like the best players and the leader of the team. And like you said, you want to go to different clubs to, to, to get to that kind of level you, you're, you're aiming to. Uh, and yeah. you've been loaned for Fortuna Sittard this season, it, back in yeah. the area of Vizy in the Netherlands. What was yeah. behind the decision to go back to the Netherlands in particular? Um, I think the Netherlands has always been a good country for football, for young players as well, to get opportunities. And uh, making minutes in first team football is always good get the experience up and yeah I think it's a good country to play and make your first minutes minutes in first in football yeah it's worked for some of the young players in the past they they use area to busy as that as that springboard don't they and um experience yeah. you played yeah. about I think it was around about 20 minutes on your debut yeah. um yeah. at the time we're speaking and yeah how was the area to busy was it easier or harder than you thought it would be uh I came in 70th minute and yeah, it's, I find it always hard to come in a game because the speed is always like already on the highest level. Mm. So it was, it felt quite hard. And yeah, it's the first time playing with like first team football for me. So yeah, I had to adapt a little bit. But yeah, I think I'm ready for it, and I can't wait to like make more minutes. You played it right back in that game. Uh, is it something you've done before? Do you think you'll always play centre back? Or is this something you're prepared to start doing now to start playing other positions? Um, yeah, I think you should be able to play different positions. Like, of course, my my I prefer playing centre back, but with the tactics the manager got right back, I should be able to play there as well. Mm -hmm. When you were brought into Fortuna Sittard, then like, were, were you promised minutes? It's something that fo football teams don't really like, guarantee you, but. Were you set? You told you would be a starting centre back, or were you told that you would just get minutes every now and again? What was it like um, when the club approached you? It's always um, impossible to promise minutes, but um, like they they put me on loan to like make minutes, and I still need to prove myself because they don't know how I will play in first team football. So I just need to keep working hard and fight for my place, and I've yeah. I've, got confidence in myself that I can do that and I'll just keep working for it. And let's say you were to be a fourth choice centre back this season, how would that be going back to Wolves? Would that be the the experience you'd have wanted from the Netherlands? No, no. Of course I'm going to the Netherlands to play as many minutes in first team football as I can, but it's I think it's all on my own. Like I need to show the people that I can do it and show the manager that I'm one of the first choices to play and if I if I don't show him that, that's that's my own fault. Did any of the Wolves coaches um, give you any advice before you went to the Netherlands to send you off with any 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 words of advice uh, before going? Yeah, yeah, my manager from last season, James, um, taught me just work hard in training, like you play in a game. Make sure you communicate a lot, speak. Make sure you're loud on the pitch, so that it's stuff like that is always what I take with me. Um, so I guess the thing I want to ask you then um, as one of the final questions is is you spoke about speaking there, being vocal on the pitch. What are those things that you really need to improve next about your game? Because you've gone to another another country, um, back to the Netherlands, but another club to, to learn new things. So what kind of things are those next steps to get you close to the Wolves first team? I think I should be reliable, more reliable, show them that I can do it every single game, being a strong defender so that they can trust me. That's one of the most important things, I think. Mm -hmm. And do you feel like you're far away from the Wolves first team still? Or do you think you're going to be there in two or three years? Um, that's difficult to say. I'm just working on getting better and better, making minutes in first team. And I'll have to show them how close I am.
next next time I train with him again. Mm -hmm. Well, Nigel, I mean, like it's been great to get your insight into this because, um, like I said, we, we haven't got to know you too well yet, Dutch football fans and Wolves fans alike. But is there anything you want to pass on to, to the Wolves fans who, I've got to say, have been watching you very closely just recently because they've started to really notice you that you are getting close to that first team. Um, what would you like to say? I'll hope to make my minutes one day in the Wolves stadium and be a player for the for Wolves himself and show the fans what I can do. Great. And Dutch football fans will be keeping a close eye on you as well. They always like to see young talents breaking through and, and, and making minutes in the first team because they love to see what happens in the future for the Dutch national team. So my last thing to you then is, um, how are you going to get involved in, in the Dutch youth teams? What kind of call-ups are you expecting to have soon? Um, I'm, I'm allowed to play in the young Dutch team, so I'll just have to prove myself, make minutes in the Eredivisie, show myself that I'm worth to play there, and hopefully I'll next call-up I might get on the list. Brilliant. Yeah, fingers crossed for you, Nigel, and um, all, all the best this season and going ahead with Wolves. We'll be keeping a close eye on you, and I'm sure Dutch football fans and Wolves fans will too. So thanks for your time. Yes, thank you.